Private Ryan is back and I'm here today to help you out on this PS4, PS5 update by Sony, update 9.00 for the PS4 which causes some of the systems out there to be brick. So as of my video that has around 300 views earlier, we have 6 folks already claiming that they have brick playstations. So a lot of them are in the dark on what to do, some already contemplating on buying the new PS5 and leaving their PS4 out in the dust. But I'm gonna give you 3 options which you can opt to to get your PlayStation 4 working again. So let's go number one for the best way to approach this, just like what I did, is to wait it out. Don't use or touch your PlayStation that's already been bricked until a new update comes out. And when it does, you're gonna do the safe mode update via uh, like the DOS version, the, the non-software version, of the PS4 so if you do that you might have a chance to bring the PlayStation back to life with all your saves and trophies right in there all safe and tuck in your PlayStation the only thing is it's been already three to four weeks and Sony hasn't released a new patch <laughs> that's a long way so I played with my PlayStation for a week now I didn't have any troubles yet but I didn't add up many games I played three games and those are the games that I've uploaded in my channel so that's the first approach that you can do you can do wait this out until a 9.10 or a 9.01 update comes in to help bring your PlayStation back to life number two which is the most ideal case to get it going once again is to reach out for the PlayStation or Sony via Twitter or via Facebook if you reach out to them, they will give you some files and links on what to do next to bring your PlayStation back to life. The only problem is when you do those steps, they won't say that this is gonna erase all the things in your hard disk. Now, in your PlayStation, you have save games, screenshots, video files, trophies, and of course, some download games that are either DLC or games that are not physical disk which you downloaded for your PlayStation if some of these are not saved through the PlayStation Cloud using PlayStation Online via PlayStation Plus you're gonna lose this guys forever so that's the warning PlayStation help PlayStation assistance will get your PlayStation working on the next day because this is just a software blunder on their end but you're gonna lose all your files. You have to re-download all your DLC. All your trophies will be gone. You will have a new clean profile and that's it. That's not advisable, but if you really want to play your PlayStation now, that's the route you're gonna go. And the last thing to do, number three on my list on how to make your PlayStation working again if it got brick, if it has gotten into a brick state after the PlayStation 9.00 update is to do a manual update so you have I'll leave some links down below where you can get the safe 9.000 update and you have to do some steps that I'm gonna share on the screen you're gonna boot on a safe mode then flash your PlayStation with this update do note that this is the same thing that that's gonna be erasing the entire hard disk of your PlayStation to bring it back to life. Not advisable as well if you're not that techy. So I have given you three options. It's up to you if you're gonna do any one of them. The best approach is to wait it out until a new update comes in and safely boot from that update. That will be my recommendation to you bring your brick PlayStation to life. With that said, I hope you liked the video. Leave some comments down below. Give us a like and join the 7,900 folks that are in my subscriber list. And we'll be seeing you here in Private Ryan Gameplays. I'll be seeing you. Peace and good luck.